everyone welcome back to my channel my name is the kids how you doing welcome to today's tutorial which will be on how to make a top or dress with this type of collar just as you can see on the thumbnail so you just have it in the front of the top of the dress so how are you going to go about this is what we are about to do if today is your first time of checking out this channel you're welcome and please make sure you subscribe and tap on the notification bell to get notified each time we put up a video now i have a basic body here so it could be in form of a top a dress or whatever you want it to be so i just want to explain the neckline because that is the major thing we need here use of another fabric for the collar so right now let's get started for the neckline you need to determine the width and the depth for the depth we will do that later but now we need to consider the wideness so for a medium size measurement now four is just fine but for like myself i could make it four and half because you don't want it to be too wide so four is here so i'm just going to note that point and then you can cut out decide to have a lining or without a lining just cutting from the front bodies so don't forget to have the seam allowance here and note this is the notch for the neckline so this is what we have you're having a lining that means you have to cut two together keep back to that i'll have to notch the neck weight Thing we are going to do with the crease we know the middle so determine the neck depth so i'll just make it six and a half so from the first line just measure six and a half or six depending on how low you want it to be after doing that i'm just going to go in by two inches inward for a plus size you can make it two and a half so this is the neckline that is the wideness now from this part you can decide to have it straight or a little bit curvy that totally depends on your preference at it whichever one you want is fine and you can cut it if you are making it with the lining you have to cut it together with the lining So how do we cut the collar? I'm just going to show you the easiest way. Here yeah, I have the fabric for the collar folded into two. So right side facing each other. So I'm just going to place it in such a way that it's more at the lower part. Take your time to clip it down. Huh? 
haven't pinned it all down what i'm going to do now is to just mark the neckline very important to mark the shoulder area too. So with this I can just remove it. So I'm going to mark the shoulder of the shoe. And now decide how wide you want the collar to be so two and a half is just fine two and a half is just fine then for seam allowance you can just make it three because we'll be taking just quarter of an inch so two and a half for the wideness and quarter inch for the seam allowance so you can just make it to three quarter but for a plus size make sure it's like three or three and a half it depends on your preference so measure whatever you have here here so having done that so the same two and three quarters just come to the middle here to match so when you get to the middle here you need to increase it so like three and a half to four depending on how wide you want it to be down here so first you connect this first one then from there you can connect to the Four inches we now have. So the color for this part is done. Then you come to the other side. Take the same measurements and put it here to one three quarter. When you get here, you measure whatever you have here. So that's three and three quarter, three and three quarter. Make sure you have the same measurement here here too so can you see that's just easiest way to do that so you don't need to have some allowance to the neckline because it has to match with the top or the dress we only had it quarter into this lower part you can leave this place open because we want to like have a little bit opening here so you don't need to worry about the same allowance there. If you still want the distance here to be much, you can do that, but I think this is fine. have the color ready so this very one the longer and the curvier one is for the left hand side while this is for the right hand side I 
and you see that was just easy to do so the next thing now is for us to sew it up the first thing i'm going to do now is to start with the collar first you have to turn it to the wrong side that is right side now facing each other What I will do now is to go to the sewing machine. The end of the neckline here, just taking quarter of an inch. You don't need to take more so that it won't be bulky at the end. So take quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch down here. So the shoulder area, you can leave that open because you will be sewing that to the back. So the same thing for this very one. Right side facing each other. Then you sew quarter of an inch here, straight up, leaving here and here open. So let me quickly do that. Also, of the collar, you will need your interfacing. Like here, I'm using the lightest interfacing. Depending on the fabric you are making use of, if you are making use of a very thick fabric, you might not need to make use of any interfacing. But because the fabric I'm making use of is light. I will use this lightest interfacing to make it stable. Turn the colors, and the next thing is to turn it around. So here you can decide to use. A facing or a lining and you can decide not to use any at all but for that perfect finishing I would encourage you to use either a facing or a lining so now this is what I have I'm just going to give that a good press the same thing to the other side Careful if you are using the scissors, you don't want to rip it apart. So let me just give it a good press. So the next, as I was saying, you can either use a bias tree or a facing or a lining. So how do you get the facing? Like what I have here is the facing. Just take another fabric, place the main pattern on it, then you get your facing the wrong side and the right side can you see that so if you have your lining you cut it the same way you have a full pattern so that's how to do that so in case you just want to use a bias strip you don't want to use a facing all you have to do is to turn your pattern to the wrong side and place it this way can you see to the end the same thing to this very one. Okay, good. And then you just sew it in, just sew in quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch. So I want to give you different options. So you sew it, this is on the wrong side. After doing that, you bring it out the right side you just use a bias strip to finish up the edges as you can see that that is another easy way just use a bias strip to finish the edges then you can just bring it all out so that means you have a finished head here so you have something like this and then something like this is because i have a pin that's why it's not looking nice but if you want to use the facing or lining, this is what you do. So this is the right side of the fabric. Just place it on it. So this is what you are going to have. What I will do now is to just attach it to it go back to the sewing machine right now I'm sewing on the right side unlike the other one that I am sewing on the wrong side 
because I want to finish it up with a bias strip. So can you see that? So I'm going to go to the sewing machine now and just take a quarter of an inch down here. Let me just explain it together. Ideally, first I should attach this before placing the facing. But what I want to do now is to just do it all together. So what do I do? So now the right side of the facing is facing the right side of the fabric. I just pin it together. So you can remove the lower one again and make sure everything aligns. In this case, this is why you need to take your time if you are using this method of attaching it together. Otherwise, first attach the collar before the facing, which is what I would advise you. So, if you want to do it together, no problem. So now I'll take to the sewing machine now and just a quarter of an inch or half all down. Attach the facing, the collar, and everything all together. And you see, so beautiful. So the next thing is to just notch it, just little slits. Then I've made a series of videos on how to finish your neckline with facing so uh, before attaching your facing you know you should have sewn it all around to finish up the raw edges i have done series of video which i will put the link in the description box so i'm just going to stick little especially the cuff part good so the next thing i'm going to do now is this because the facing will be going inside this way and we want it to be flat as possible you understand so what do we do all you have to do now is to turn it this way pull out the facing and you see and then all this seam allowance because we need to top stitch now all this seam allowance you place it on the facing or the lining because if you are working with your lining you use the same method so this is the seam allowance this is the facing so make sure all the seam allowance is on the lining and then we have to top stitch all around before we can turn it and we have it laying perfectly all the seam allowance down towards the facing so you sew like one eighth of an inch close to the initial seam make sure you pull it and it's flat looking at it i've sewn it all around so the top stitching will be showing on the inside can you see it's just so wonderful all the seam allowance has been concealed in between so you don't want to go through this stress you can just use the bias strip but i don't think there's any stress in having a perfect finishing so on the right this is what you have so you just give it a good press can you see that everything is just so beautiful and you don't have the facing or the lining coming out on the outside that's the essence of the top stitching can you see the space we have here is also looking very nice so that is how to fix your Color and in case you want more extension from the lower parts, for instance, you want it somewhere here, that is up to you. If you don't want, want much distance, it is also up to you. So, all you have to do now is to attach to the back or uh, the back pattern. So, everything is looking beautiful both inside and outside. What the color looks like, you can see, it's just so beautiful and nice. So make sure you give it a try and don't forget to share with us on our Facebook group Sewing Innovations. Follow me on Instagram, Blakey Signatures. I remain your girl, Blakey. Bye.